Hi guys, it's Nikki from Gracie's House. I'm here live on the Paint Couture page um, and we're going to do some interesting colour painting today. So the hair's back today. It's There's going to be a lot of, of messiness going on. We're not going for a clean finish. We're going for some interesting, slightly different, something you may not have seen with Paint Couture before. Obviously, we all know that Paint Couture is amazing for smooth self-leveling. This is kind of a way of going a little bit different to that, but it shows you how versatile the paint can be. Um, I don't think anyone's joined. I think someone's joined me. I've just seen a number, a, a number pop up. So as you come on, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. I can see Debbie's joined us. Thank you, Debbie. Um, and yeah, just say hello if there's any questions. Um, I think Helen's going to be here as well. So if there's anyone, uh, sorry, if there's any questions you have and I miss them, then um, Helen's Helen's hopefully there for me as well, uh, because I'm hoping to have my my back to the camera. So we're going to be wor working with all of these colours today, all of them. I know. So I'm gonna. This is a cabinet I painted originally. I'm gonna tilt the camera now. I've said hello to everybody. Um, so now I've said hello to everybody, I am going to show you the cabinet that we're working on. So this has been previously painted, um, I paint, hi Charlie, I painted this um, in one of the Dixie Bell colours, it's just been sat, um, it, it did have some transfers on the side, but it's just not grabbing anyone's attention. So I've decided that the best thing for me to do today is to paint over it, and that's something else that... Um, I often get asked, like, how do you feel if something's sat, or do you like, not, you know, do you, could you, do you not like to let go of a piece? Um, you, as you get through the business, you, you lose the sentimental things, and if something just hasn't worked, then you've just got to move on and make something else work. So we're going to, as you can see, this is the original colour, it had shading, on the side panels we had a transfer, hi Sam it's gonna be completely different. I'm gonna turn it round and show you what we're aiming for. Lisa, do you remember when I did this before? Probably. So this is what we're aiming for. It's kind of like a real aged, chippy almost. I'm gonna pull the camera back a little bit just so you can see a little bit more. Morning, Chandra. Um, so this is what I'm aiming for. So, and I'm going to give you uh, the inspiration for the colour change so, and all of the colours. I have got in my stash plenty of, I can see my logo is right on my face there, look at that. Hi Heather. You're hoping, Lisa's hoping to lose the sentimentality, yeah. And uh, do you know what, I think over time you do, a lot of my friends used to say, oh, how can you part with that piece? Um, you know, I, I don't, wanna, don't you want to keep everything? You do get over it. You do, I promise. So, as I was saying, in my stash of transfers and all sorts of goodies, I have some of these um, discontinued transfers. So I can't use them on the Redesign with Prima page because obviously we want to show new products. Look at this. How fab is that? So this is called Patchwork. This is my inspiration. See all the colours in it? Oh my God. And the plan is that we will have in these panels this bright bonkers transfer so yeah we're going completely opposite ends of the scale the original one was somber and a little bit classic wood top we're painting the whole thing so that's my inspiration there we go so we have moxy by the sea caribbean coral sea glass polynesian pink and Lake Norman Blue. So ultimately we're going to end up with Lake Norman Blue um, being the main colour over the top. Um, hang on, what have we got there? My son has moved and you're hoping he can help me part with your stuff. Yeah. Lisa, you need to get rid of some more. Um, Paint Couture's found me. <laughs> and I don't know if that's Paint Couture Helen or Katie or Michael or it could be anybody. Hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, the, the main colour... The, these are kind of the two that are going to be what we can see most of, but we're going to get the pops of these fantastic three colours underneath. So, this is what we're aiming for. We're going to start with the front and get the base colours on. I know, bold colours, right? <laughs> we're going to get the base colours on, so these three, and then I've 
like half done the other side so that I can show you how I added the blue, uh, the um, Lake Norman blue and the sea glass. So I've kind of tried to give you a, this is, this is what we're aiming for, this is where we start the kind of the middle process. That's the plan. I have already given my paints a bit of a stir. Been dying to see what happens when I go crazy. I know, do you know what, it happens. Hi Erin. And you know what, I've had so much fun planning this one. And then if any of you saw the leathery looking piece, I um, can't show you that one yet, um, but I had fun again, it was creating texture and you can, you know, yes, this paint is amazing. The self-leveling is like, uh, I can't even tell you how good the self-leveling is. All of that is superb, but you know, sometimes you want, you don't want a clean finish. You want to have a little, more, little bit more uh, playtime. <laughs> So I, like, as I said, I'm giving these a good shape, but I have already pre-stirred them so that I'm not stirring, taking up too much painting time. So I've got loads of different brushes, um, but again, when you're looking for a clean finish, you're best to aim for, you know, the blue eyes type brushes because they're nice, they're synthetic. When you're kind of doing a bit more of a messy finish, it almost, if you want texture, you're almost better off not having one of those synthetic brushes purely because, good morning, um, purely because um, it'll help you create texture. Those other brushes are there to minimize brush strokes. So um, we're kind of not that bothered for this. So Erin, I can see a comment popped up and then something else happened really quickly. So I've got, you haven't been successful in blending. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. S -s -s hang on, S bear with me. So. We're really almost just slapping this on. It's, um, Lisa, the, the, the CC brushes are brilliant. And also, if anyone's, um, no, it's too far out of reach. The little one inch one is lush. Especially if you've got a blend in little details. I love it. So, you know, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna be slapping it on wherever I fancy. Now, it will need two coats because um, these colours are rich, they're highly pigmented paints, but I do find you'll still need two coats to get your good coverage. However, we're kind of layering, so if you like how it looks for one coat, um, then happy days. You know, it doesn't, you can't get those brushes in Canada. Okay, have, can you get zebra brushes? Because these ones are great as well. I love this one. Erin, I'm sure you can to kind of find something that will do the same job. So I'm literally, I'm not really thinking about where I'm plonking these colours, almost the more, if you plan it too much, um, then it will start to look maybe a little bit more contrived. The kind of more random, the better. Yeah, zebra brushes. Lisa, your next order, and some of the vibrant colours, you've, you've ordered some of these, have you? They are, they're awesome, they are awesome. I was looking for colours the other day and I knew what I had in my mind and I knew what I had in my delivery. Could I find them? I'd stashed them in a drawer um, that I'd completely forgot. So I did, but obviously I eventually found them. I was, not that I'm hiding it from my husband at all, um, but I just wanted them out of the way because of my husband complaining that there's paint everywhere. So I'm gonna just pop another bit of coral, I think. Um, I've done some here, so I think I'm just gonna add another piece here. I'm painting straight over the hardware. Um, those, that you, those of you that have followed me elsewhere, I quite often paint over the hardware on these style cabinets because they don't always come off that well. The screws are a bit funny. Can I run through the colors again? Yeah, of course I can. So we've got Caribbean coral, Polynesian pink, and Moxie by the Sea, that's gonna be our underlayer. And then on the top is gonna to be Sea Glass and Lake Norman Blue. Did you get that? Sorry, I wasn't even facing the camera when I said that. Caribbean col Coral, Polynesian Pink. Is it just you want me to get, the it's like a tongue twister. Moxie by the Sea, Lake Norman Blue and Sea Glass. Hi Laurie, hi Joan, thank you for joining. Okay, so we've got our coral on. Uh, I'm going to go Moxie by the Sea. So I had, again, I 
This was my tests kind of panel. I'm going to follow it here. I've got a bit here and I'm probably going to put a piece here. But yeah, so these, these hardware can be a bit, the screws can come out a little bit funny. Whimsy Hippie by Sheila loved your photos of your prizes. <laughs> Is that a retailer, Erin? Yeah, red lorry, yellow lorry, Lisa. Completely. My daughter, Gracie, as those some of you all have already known about, um, she loves a tongue twister and she likes she likes getting daddy to try the tongue twisters. Oh, whimsy hippie, sorry, I'm watching some. <laughs> okay. And, you know, I went into the coral there. It doesn't matter. On this kind of style of painting, you really, really don't need to worry too much. See, you're gonna overlap because it's wet still. It doesn't matter a great deal. Get a little bit more, cover it up if you're that bothered. I'm not. So over here in the UK, this kind of um, oh, <laughs> side convo, sorry, I interrupted. <laughs> um, in the UK, these cabinets, this it's, it's a company called Old Charm. This isn't an old charm, this is probably like a copy, but it's quite a popular, traditional type of furniture. Still quite expensive, still produced um, today, I think. Pretty sure you can get brand new stuff. Very expensive, but it's just all nice oak. But it, this is an unusual shape um, on this one. So it's got these angled side panels. Um, I'm just gonna put a bit more here. Okay. And I'm going for my zebra brush on this bit, just because I've only got two of those two inch ones. It is the same quality oak, Lisa, you're right, it is. I'm just gonna go in here. I'm going to paint around that because I don't really know what I'm going to do with that little, that's the, the kind of locking piece, little twisting section there. Don't really know what I'm going to do with that yet. So we'll just paint it. And, you know, and if the, the pink and the coral kind of mix in, they, they, don't, they look quite nice mixed. I don't mind if those two go over each other. So you can note from, if you can see that little bit at the bottom of my screen, this week, I, th I think all the, those of you, hi Sue, those of you that are in uh, the US, the majority of you are probably watching at about nine o'clock in the morning. Um, we have our clock change this week. So next week we will be back to the official time, which is gonna be eight o'clock, I think if that's what everyone's experiencing at the moment. <laughs> Morning, Francie. I'm gonna put some pink here. Like I said, it's very random and it kind of looks a real mess. Uh, I don't mind if I'm covering this because I will be painting this piece as well. So I don't mind that either. I'm gonna pop some pink down here. There might be those that would quite like it as it is. <laughs> I'm not personally one of those people. But once you do the layers on the top, it all starts to come together. Um, I'm gonna do a bit over here because we'll, we'll distress this back as well. So we'll get some color on this. The reason I'm leaving these panels is because they're just gonna be primarily that blue color. Uh, Jane, Jane, sorry, I hope that's the right pronunciation. What's the name of the pink? It's Polynesian pink, my lovely. Um, so yeah, I, I'm not distressing back in these central panels on, um, well, the side ones are gonna have the transfer on. I might put a pop of it here as well. I haven't decided yet. I'm not gonna be adding the transfer today with you guys. You'll get to see that. You've been playing with texture, vinegar to separate it. Yes. Um, Coral. Yeah, I found like a 
50-50 mix of vinegar and water gave you a very different separation to just using water on its own. It'd get another fun thing to play with for sure. Got some drips there. But too much paint in that corner piece. It's all caught up into the corner. There we go. So just to just to recap on um, this was pre-painted, it wasn't waxed, so you can hi Barb. You can easily paint over a pre-painted um, piece. I, I have sanded this back. There was transfers on it, so I sanded those back. Um, but I didn't need to lose, use any, I didn't need to strip any wax back. If you've got a wax piece, then yes, you will have more work to do. Um, but you know, a little scuff sand, just to give you a bit of a key. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that, just put another little bit there. We might have to come back and do a, a kind of second coat. I have got my hairdryer on standby. Okay, so that's that's kind of the first the first bit. You can do that and then walk away. Someone's back, I think someone's asking how the vinegar things work, but I think that's to Charlie, which is good. So I'm going to turn it around again. Here's half I prepared before. So we can see everything. Let's just move it back a tiny bit. Okay, so we've got our colours on here. Now this is this is the next fun part. <clears throat> so we're going to work with the next two colours. Now I'm going to show you a brush here that you might not be able to get hold of. I don't think Blue Ice do one this wide. Paint or jump on in if I'm wrong, but I don't think they do. This one I've had, this is in my stash for ages. It's a big flat, it's actually a laying off brush. So um, if anyone's heard of the term laying off, when you want for a super, super, super smooth finish, you very, very gently drag this across, no pressure at all, and it helps to smooth out any lines that you might be struggling with. I'm gonna use it for something different, but yeah, like you can see, this is, this is used. I haven't had it a while. So this is a hundred, so it's a uh, hundred mil wide. This looks over there. There we go. Um, you could always, I've seen another artist do the same. Cece, hello. Um, you could tape two brushes together to get the same effect. You might want flat ones. Okay, anyway, so what I'm gonna do now is try not to make a mess. <laughs> This is my board that I'm working from. And um, was it Charlie talking about blending? This might be a way to help you. If it's just a two color blend, it might help. Might not, it might not. It depends what your design is you're up to. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour out a little blob of this, uh, the Lake Norman Blue, and then a little blob of the sea glass. I'm just gonna do that off camera so that it's flat on the ground and not gonna drip off anywhere. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do. One. I'm just going to tidy that pot up, there we go, and then I'm going to do the same with the sea glass. And this is why it gets messy, because you've got so many pots open all at the same time, all lids everywhere, all on my staging floor, and I'm trying not to drop it on. Okay, where's my white brush gone? So there is my two um, blobs. I'm just gonna take my nice big brush and I'm going to do that and drag it through and you kind of end up with a blend in the middle. Oh, you didn't see what I was doing, sorry, it wasn't high enough. Okay, so you see, you've got your blob and a blob and you can do this and then you end up with a blend in the middle. You see? So I'm gonna take a bit of that. I want more blue, so I'm just gonna drag it across. And can you see? what you get, yeah? So that's cool. What I'm also gonna do on here, which I forgot, because I was too excited about showing you the little blending tip. So it, it's easier to distress back to these colors. I'll just get that drip. Um, I'm gonna add a resist. So you've got two options, any kind of wax or um, uh, like salve or something like that will will do the job. I've also got a beeswax block, so you'll get a much smaller 
more controlled um, resist with your beadwax block. And it's just a case of rubbing it where you want the paint not to stick. It's wax, paint doesn't like wax. So I'm gonna do that a little bit with that one. Um, but actually, when I was testing it out the other day, it just depends, you have to have a play, see what you, see what you like most. I'm using just a salve here. So it's just like a wax or a butter or whatever product you like, you can use normal wax. Oh, see, see, you like the colours, they're pretty awesome. And I'm gonna kind of go really bold. So you can see how much I'm adding, because I really want those colours to pop through. So I'm gonna get it on all the edges. Um, I've just done that bit, so I'm gonna to have to wipe that one back. I'm gonna go down here on the legs, which you can't quite see, actually. Got some coral on there. And also, do you know, because these distressing colors, I don't mind too much if some of that little dark green, original color, I'm not that upset if that pops through too, because it'll, it will all add and give some depth. Um, I'm just gonna pop some on that edge there. got paint on my brush because I forgot that that edge was wet. Whoopsie. Okay, so that's what we're going to do there. I'm going to come back to my big fat brush that's now got paint all over it. And we're going to do the same again. I don't mind I've covered here. I don't mind this. And you can see you get like a really subtle blend without it being too, um, too much of a job really. Again, don't mind if I'm not right in that corner because this is going to be transfer. I will be painting it solid blue just because I want a bit of uni uni uniformity, is that a word? I would like it to be uniform underneath the transfer. And you know, I don't mind here. I've not. I've, there's a bit that's not covered. It doesn't matter because I'm going to be distress, distressing back. Helen, you think you might be able to do that distressing? Do you know what? Uh, distressing that blending. It's good fun, and it kind of you know once you've once you've done a bit. Do you know what? I'm just going to get it done. I'll use the blue side a bit more. Late Norman blue is so pretty. So do you know what? I'm, you know, I'm quite happy that that coverage is all I need. So we're back to it looking. I'm going to push the camera down a tiny bit. Right, there we go. So it's looking quite blue. I'm going to put a little bit more of the turquoise through. Just a bit. I'm kind of just going roughly over the legs, as you can see. resist on that bit there. Go there, a little bit there. Everybody's here, Sue. The whole gang, I know. Great. And let's just tidy that up. And then that little drip there. Oh, and a little drip there. Okay. I'm just going there. The next thing, we can do this piece. I'm trying to remember what I used. When I did the other side, hmm, what did I do? Did I use a scraper? I think I used my scraper. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> so again, you're just distressing back. You could use some tissue. Um, you can use. I'm going to use a scraper. I think that's what I used last time. I can't remember. And I'm just going to try. You see? Look at that. You get a little pop. Um, and of course, on the edges, actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the hair dryer on the edges where the wax or the salve or whatever you decided to use as a resist, the paint, even when the paint dries, it's not gonna be stuck to the, the layer before. So I'm gonna be noisy, sorry.
Yeah, you've just got to have a bit of fun, Charlie. And, um, you know, almost, it's, it's good if you have a test piece that you don't care about too much. If you can get a test piece of furniture, or even, um, I don't know, something that's not necessarily, you know, like a, a flat pack type piece of furniture. That you don't worry about too much if you don't, you know, what you do, you're not happy with what you do. It almost allows you to have more fun because you, you, because you don't care. Take too long. We might go back to the front. <laughs> Some of it's wrong. Then. Oh, here we go. It's coming in. Deborah, yet to try paint the floor. Get some, girl. I put in the link. Uh, in the link, in the description at the top, I've put the link where you can uh, find a retailer so you haven't got to run off and find that. And just while I'm waiting for this, waiting for paint to dry, dull, um, these colours on the top are Lake Norman Blue and Sea Glass. And then underneath we've got Polynesian Pink, Caribbean Coral and Moxie by the Sea. A drip around here, guys. Sorry, we just saw that one. Some drips. There we go. Um, okay, scraper. Oh, no, I've got paint on the floor. Whoops. Came in late and you're intrigued. You'll have to, yeah, yeah, there's all sorts going on, Wendy. Moxie by the sea. I know it's cool, isn't it? So, um, I'm just going to show you with the scraper. So, where I put that resist, can you see? Did you see that coming? That reveal and we can just scrape it there we go there's another bit there I've not got my thing at the right angle if you want to use sandpaper like my sandpaper you can do that too it will reveal with whatever you choose to um, so you know you can use the scraper for more um, and there we go. Can you see that pink coming through and the corals coming through here? And all of that gorgeous goodness popping through there. Wendy, you're always late to the party. Uh oh. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try a bit more of this pink up here. There's still a bit of wet up there, so I'm going to use. Experiment and play. Oh, I've got all these little flakes of paint all over the place. And go down here. And again, it depends how much of a resist you add to um, how much surface area you can reveal back. Ideally, you don't want to be leaving the paint anywhere that the because the, the adherence won't be there so it will rub off over time so you want to you want to lose the paint everywhere that you've added a resist uh, this one's plastic I've got metal ones but it's I just feel it's a bit more gentle for doing stuff like this to use a plastic scraper but like you know you could use just a rag 
to kind of do it's again it's what what you prefer it's quite whatever I've used it's just quite therapeutic exactly um, it, with a rag you would get a softer finish I'm getting a little bit there it doesn't matter because I'm going to have transfer there I want a bit more there I think I didn't add as much that was probably do you see the difference that was probably just where I used the wax puck morning Denise so do you see how much more subtle it is it's much lighter you don't get so much um much peel back and on this I kind of want a lot so I'm going to be leaving there look you see you can just scrape it across can you see the legs I think my label's in the way isn't it let me just move that in can you just see you can just scrape across everything down here look And you can be quite, you know, quite hard in all those grooves. I'm not being gentle particularly. You see? And it just reveals those colours underneath. Gorgeous. Okay. Oh, messy. This is why I had to have my hair tied back. Five paint pots open. <sighs> Has to be tied back. So let's go back to the front. Um, I'm going to do a bit of drying on the front. How are we doing for time? We're doing okay for time. We might get this nearly done. I think we might. Let's get some more drying on the go. Um, while I do that, actually, I'm just going to add some to the top as well. Oops. Help the bone that we've got on the ground. like patting your tummy, no, patting your head and rubbing your tummy at the same time. leave the front, yeah? <laughs> Touching in the legs, it does look a bit Picasso, doesn't it? A street art, yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm going to keep the coral going all the way along here. those little crevices. Hi Melinda. Oh you've missed, you've not missed all of it though. <laughs> Van Gogh.
Right, so we'll go back to... Oh, look, that's gone in there. Annoying. Right, I'm not going to forget this step this time. So I'm going in with my, um, my waxy salve. Uh, I'm going to go on this corner. I'm going to go on that quite heavily. And the handle. And on here. Really, everywhere I... I want that, that colour to pop through. It doesn't have to be everywhere. But I want it everywhere. Definitely on the hardware, although that's not entirely dry. Never mind. There we go. Probably gone a bit too heavy on it there. Yeah. This stuff smells amazing. I'm going to pot it along there. I'm going along that edge. Mustn't forget all this bit here. Really want to scrape back on there. And here okay and then we go back to our big oops our big big board so yeah I'm putting wax on to distress if anyone's just joined and think I'm mad because I'm putting wax on where I'm painting it's because we're using it as a distress so I've got my big board with my two colors on and that's still wet enough to to use and I probably want a bit more blue in than that. There we go. So we're going to cover all that back up again. Oh, I just love this blue. Oh, I do. It's so pretty. Might just leave it like that around those um, hardware. That looks nice. Liz. Okay, I'll, I'll catch up with your comments in a minute if there's anything you need me to answer. Um, going that way. Yeah, I like, I like that real coral popping through the blue. It's really, really vibrant. So I'm going to leave that for sure. To be sure, to be sure. Oh, I like that too. I haven't decided whether I'm going to do something in this in this central panel. I think I might put transfer. I mean, it's it's a bonkers piece. I might as well go full bonkers and um, put the transfer there as well. So I'm just going to fill that in with the blue. The great thing about these bigger, wider brushes, like I said, you could take two blue ice brushes together, actually, is, you know, with these kind of less clinical, finished, smooth, finished pieces, you can, I'm just going to have to pour, pour a bit more paint out. Um, you can cover a lot of ground with a big brush like that. And it's nice and thin, like the laying off brushes, because they're not for painting, essentially. They're nice and thin like the blue ice brushes. Erin, what wax did I use? I have currently got in my little stash Wise Owl Cactus Blossom Salve, um, which just the smell is, it's very grown up. I've lost my brush, there we go. It's very, very sophisticated. It's delicious smelling. But like I said, any wax would do, any salve, um, beeswax, anything like that. Leslie, nothing would stop it from sticking. You're right, but once I finish the live, I'll open the door so it doesn't stick. <laughs> but you're absolutely right. If I left it, it would stick. So I'm going to, I've got my two blobs and I'm just going to be doing the same thing again. Nearly dribbled it off. Just mix the paint. It'll give you, give you a, a blend all on its own. I literally only discovered the 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 salves um, this week, um, and I have to say, love the one I've got. But yeah, the lemon the lemon verbena is the one that I've heard of more so before. The cactus blossom is really nice. It's got got, got a really sort of spa sort of smell to it almost. Um, I think. I 
I'm not going to be too fussy about getting into all those nooks and crannies because it pops of colour and that's what I'm after. But I do want to kind of cover as much of the flat surfaces um, as I can. I'll go on to that edge. I can already see where the resist is starting to, to pull up, which is lovely. If you can get it to, to do it all on its own, even better. Yep. Okay. So we're back to the hairdryer for a minute. I know, when we could go to the spa. Oh. Oh. How lovely would it be? <laughs> So what's everybody thinking so far? A little bit bonkers, like it, not for you. I know the whole being messy is really outside a lot of people's comfort zones. It took me a while. And I do a lot of cleaner finishes, even distressing. You still start with a clean finish. This is, this is a very different kind of way of painting. Leslie, I don't do any workshops not something I've offered so far, um, purely because I've, I've, well, I've never been asked before, but literally the last couple of months I've been asked more, um, but my workshop, because I'm so busy, I kind of don't have the space, my workshop's definitely a one person workshop. <laughs> Like if I span the camera around and you saw actually how much um, workspace I've got right now, I've got big commissions in the workshop at the moment, you'd probably be quite surprised what I'm left with. You'd think it'd be easy to work, easier to get outside your comfort zone working alongside me, yeah. Charlie, you love it, you're the messiest painters, love it. <laughs> Um, really nice and boho and bright and you know the sun started coming out um, and because this piece had sat for a while I wanted it to be really really different not just oh I've just you know added a bit more gold or I wanted it to be really obviously different so you could mistake it for a completely different piece of furniture. Leslie how do I get a smooth finish on my work? Well, paint couture goes a long way to helping you get a smooth finish. Let me tell you, the self-leveling is superb. Um, even to the point where yesterday when I was trying to create texture to give myself a leather look, it, it was still self-leveling to, to almost smooth, trying to create texture. You're always hunting for free furniture, yeah. Um, I think, I think I've got a few more bits to dry out. So yeah, with a smooth finish, start with paint couture, brilliant. Get yourself a really nice synthetic bristle brush, synthetic filament brush, like the blue ice ones. Um, or, uh, what else have I got here? Or the zebra ones. Find a brush that you're comfortable using. Don't overwork the paint. But also you have to learn to work relatively quickly. I think that and the scraper. I'm going to get a fresh piece of workshop towel. Is it a chalk paint? No, this is a mineral paint. Um, so it's, um, yeah, it's a mineral paint. 
it's got it's a re it's got a top coat included, so it's it's a resin based um, mineral paint. Let me get the, there. We go. Oh. Lovely. Love a reveal. Hi Greta. Thanks for watching. Can you see how that comes off? Because I've added the resist. Awesome. Through the pink there. Let's do some here. There we go. Got to also, you've got to remember where your resist was. <laughs> your last one was going to be messy and ended up ended up clean. Yeah, I sometimes it kind of it speaks to you as it goes along though, doesn't it? I'm going to scrape through here. This is going to look awesome with those colours popping through. And then here. Now I can tell you now, where I haven't put the resist, it is tough. I cannot scrape through it. See here, there's no resist up on that top piece. I can't scrape through it. It's got such a lovely smooth finish on it. I can't scrape it. That's how tough it is that quickly. Oh, the fl I love the big houses with the big porches. It would look fab, wouldn't it? Can you imagine with a massive jug of iced lemonade? Ooh. <laughs> oh, I've gone too far there. That's taken me down to the wood. Too hard, too hard. There we go. Here. Oh, I can hear it's just started raining. That's no fun. I don't actually have to scrape, scrape off the hardware too much because um, it's all highlighted there anyway. Let's get mine. Going over with the sandpaper afterwards, I'm finding also it's just kind of brightening up, so it's just taking a bit of the dirtiness off of the um, where the where I've scraped back. Day, night and day with our painting style. Lovely that bit of pink there that's coming through. shown you everything I wanted to show you um, I might tinker here because I can see on camera it's like a real there's a, there's a real stop there between the coral and the and the moxie by the sea so I'm not 100% that'll that'll stay exactly like that but the, everything else I'm pretty much you know there or thereabouts I'm happy with and then once that transfer goes on and ties all those colors together that'll make sense more as well I think um, I hope you've enjoyed today's messy painting <laughs> oh on a piano can you imagine this blue is stunning I mean the, all of the colors are stunning but the blue is just it's so lovely I can't I'm, you know it looks nicer painted than even in the pot and I love the pot so just as a recap we've used five five different colors here um, so we've used the Polynesian pink Caribbean coral Sea Gasp, Moxie by the Sea, and then Lake Norman Blue. Wendy, is it Wendy that you've just said? No, someone just asked what transfer. It's an old, retired one. They are knocking around a little bit. Patchwork. Can you imagine? Look at that. How perfect the colours are. Amazing. Um, and, yeah, we've used um, the resist technique to show distressing. We've scraped back using sandpaper and scrapers, or you can use a cloth. We've... Like I said, we've used a resist, so you can use a salver or wax or um, a hard block, um, beeswax block. 
and just have a little bit of fun. Try messing around with the products. It doesn't have to be a clean finish. I love a clean finish. I'm not dissing a clean finish, but this is very, very versatile paint. You can, you can really create different things with it. I know there were some people that have asked about the leather effect. I will work that into my live schedules to try and show you that, that kind of texture as well. Okay guys, thanks for joining me. And I hope you all, you, you, most of you are watching from America, those of you in the morning, I hope you have a brilliant the rest of the day. Those of you that have joined me from the UK, you've probably just had your lunch and I hope you have a brilliant afternoon. Thanks guys, bye.